Narrated by Aisha. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him used to pray two light rak'at before the morning, compulsory, prayer after the day dawned and the Mu'addin had finished his adhan. He then would lie on his right side till the Mu'addin came to pronounce the ikama. Narrated by Abdullah bin Mughafal. The Prophet said, There is a prayer between the two adhans, adhan and ikama, there is a prayer between the two adhans. And then while saying it the third time he added, For the one who wants to pray. Narrated by Malik bin Huwayrith. I came to the Prophet peace be upon him with some men from my tribe and stayed with him for twenty nights. He was kind and merciful to us. When he realized our longing for our families, he said to us, Go back and stay with your families and teach them the religion, and offer the prayer and one of you should pronounce the adhan for the prayer when its time is due and the oldest one amongst you should lead the prayer. Narrated by Abu Dhar. We were in the company of the Prophet peace be upon him on a journey and the Mu'addin wanted to pronounce the adhan for the Zuhr prayer. The Prophet peace be upon him said to him, let it become cooler. Then he again wanted to pronounce the adhan but the Prophet, said to him, let it become cooler. The Mu'addin again wanted to pronounce the adhan for the prayer but the Prophet peace be upon him said, let it become cooler, till the shadows of the hillocks become equal to their sizes. The Prophet peace be upon him added, the severity of the heat is from the raging of hell. Narrated by Malik bin Huwayrith. Two men came to the Prophet peace be upon him with the intention of a journey. The Prophet peace be upon him said, When both of you set out, pronounce Adhan and then Ikama, and the oldest of you should lead the prayer. <laughs>